Hey everyone and welcome back to your Fred Expert YouTube channel. In this video I'd like to show you how you can customize the Fred Material Preview Shader Ball with Fred 2023. So if you have installed Fred 2023 you might have seen that it's now possible to choose from different uh, material ball representations for the individual materials. The nice thing on that drop down menu is that the Content um, adopts when you change the material ball VPB in the installation fold properly. So first of all, we have to locate our material ball VPB, which can be found in program data, Autodesk, Fred 15, data, internal, and then there is a material ball VPB which we will duplicate first of all to create a backup of the actual one. And then we can start with a new scene and track our material ball in it. So looking into the structure you see there's a switch which has the different representations in it. So first of all, we will import um, our custom geometry. I have chosen a gear, which I have exported as an FPX and we'll bring that into Fred. And we'll start to modify the transformation scale and rotation of that to match the um, default V-ball. So I will make it a little bit smaller. I change the rotation. So maybe something like this, maybe make it a little bit bigger as well. And I think that looks pretty good. So the next, next thing is um, we have to uh, flush the transformation scales and rotation because when we later assign a material with a triplanar or planar mapping, you know that the transformation of the geometry um, is inherent to the textures and to make sure that it's um, centered and uh, scaled correctly we have to flush the transformations and therefore we can go to scene optimize module and then we flush the transformation rotation and scale so the next thing is uh, probably the easiest is to duplicate one of those um, defaults and when we look into it you can see um, that there is a mud ball override material which is um, later used to assign your shader and the fret scene to it and we have to move our geometry we want to replace um, into that group which is that one let's give it a proper name move it in here delete the old one uh, we should also change the group name of that switch to what we later like to see um, in the combo box and then we have also a cylinder in here. Let's give that a proper name and move it also into the gear folder. And let's delete um, the existing um, geometry. So now let's assign some materials. Um, here the material ball dummy we can assign to the gear, but important is that we have that mud ball material group and give the cylinder as well the material and we can choose from a dark gray and a light gray and I go for the light gray in that case. That's it for the materials. Now let's assign some proper UVs to that gear because when we use later a material with a texture that is UV map that um, this texture is represented on the gear as well um, in a correct way. So therefore we can open the UV editor. So make sure you're on the material UV set and then we can simply introduce cut here and also here. Yeah, that's not so good. Maybe we start here. Cut. And let's see if we cut it this way. Looks better. And also the inner one. like this and maybe a cut over here. Yeah. 
have to sew that together and this is also a cut we have introduced um, that I don't like. Um, where is it going? This one, this one, this one. Let's see it together. Okay, that looks better. I think now we just need one cut over here. And this guy, and this guy is the inner one, so there's one unnecessary cut over here. Okay, that looks good. Um, if we now activate the uh, show texture and then the checkerboard, we can see that the texture is not properly um, rotated and aligned. Um, the first thing um, I'm gonna do is making the outer one and the inner one, uh, the inner island uh, straight. So I can simply select the edges both of them and say be horizontal constrain you and then I can also select those guys and say uh, constrain vertically and then let's try another one um, looks pretty good next thing is um, I will scale the UV layout and um, yeah, align it a little bit better. So we'll move that into the center of the other island from the from the backside. And then I think I will simply um, scale everything because I wanted to have if I have a texture that is um, yeah with a repeat of one by one. Um, I'd like to have it mapped um, on the whole on the whole gear. So I scale that up. So the gear fits in the UV space completely. And then um, I will also rotate it in a way that the, the, the texture and the numbers are facing um, downwards, which is probably like this. I can do the same for the backside. The backside we will never see, but for the sake of being um, correct, um, I do it. I do it the same way, something like this. So the numbers um, for that inner part and the outer part are facing the same direction. Looks basically good to me could scale it a little bit more, center it once again, and I think um, good to go, I think. So what's next is, I think, um, baking shadow. Um, we don't need a UV for the inner cylinder because we never map a material to that later. Um, for baking the shadow, what we can do is we select uh, one of the um, default shapes, go to bake light and shadow, and then we can go load from node. And this copies um, the value um, that material ball was uh, calculated um, into our properties. And then we can simply choose our gear and say calculate all. This will also add a small subdivision in the, in the, in the edges. So there is um, a better shadow um, close to the objects. Um, and I think basically um, that's it. Now we can um, save or export um, that node from here. Go to file, export selected. Um, I will store it on my desktop, call it material. Material ball VPB and will replace that in the installation folder. Include environment geometries, of course not. To make that change work, we have to restart Fred. So see you in a minute. So now that I have restarted um, Fred and loaded um, my example with the materials, you can see that um, now in the combo box there appears my gear. And you can um, 
assign that and that's a nice thing in the new fred version as well to um, multiple materials in one go like this and by the way it is also possible to customize other geometries like the view cube or the hands or controller representation in vr if you like so if you found the video useful then press the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you soon. Bye.